Hi, I'm Valerie. In this video, I'll show you how to make a simple headband. And in part two, a follow up video, I'll show you how to make this cute little bow that you can use to dress up the headband that we'll be making in this video. Okay, so let's get started with the headband. Here I'm using a piece of ethnic vintage fabric to do my headband. You can decide on what colors you want, what fabric you want, but here I'm just using this piece of fabric that I like this much, okay? <laughs> okay, so get your fabric, decide on how wide you want your headband to be. I want my headband to be five inches, but it doesn't have to be exactly five inches. So I did not allow for seams. So it will be a little less than five when I'm finished. If you want it to be exactly five inches, then you want to allow half an inch for your seam allowance. Okay, quarter inch for each side when you're stitching. So I measured up and important it's doubled so we have to double the five inches so this is actually 10 inches wide and finish off your edges then fold your fabric in half and then we can start stitching our headband now I just want to remind you that before you cut into your fabric before you even measure for the headband, please make sure you iron your fabric. It's very important that you iron your fabric, okay? So we're gonna start stitching. You may be wondering how we're going to get the fabric on the right side. I'll show you exactly how. Okay, so let's get stitching. Okay, so this is how we are going to be able to turn to the right side. We're stopping right here, just a little short of the other end. And we're gonna jump from here to here, start stitching here. So we'll just leave a little opening to be able to turn our rectangle onto the right side. So we'll finish stitching the wrong side. There we go. It's done. Open the fabric, like the two layers. Make sure they're opened apart from each other. Then get your dowel, stick your dowel in, rest it against, you can rest against your lap too, depending on where you are. And then you just start folding the fabric in, pulling, pulling, pulling the fabric on itself. There you go. And by this time I can just take this off and just do it. I don't need to rest it anymore. So I push it all the way out. Ooh, don't pass that hole. And then take it right through this hole. Now make sure you push the corners out. No, Using a chopstick because it has a pointier end. So yeah, there we go. Push it out and push the other corner out. Okay, and then we just finish pulling it out. There we go. The other end is pretty close. So we don't need the dowel here. We basically just hold it and just Pull it inside out and we have the fabric on the right side. That's where we want it, right? Yeah. There we go. So we push this end out also. And voila, there we have it. We have a simple headband. However, you may ask, what about that hole, eh? What about that hole that we turn the fabric inside out from? Where is it? I can't even find it. Oh, it's right here. 
Okay. Okay, I think I need to push this out just a wee little more. There we go. Now, you could either use a needle and thread to blind stitch the hole together, or you can do like I do and just get your iron and a bit of fusing tape. Go and you put the fusing tape between the fabric. There we go. Put the fusing tape right between the fabric here. Okay. And so after you've put your fusing tape between the layers, you just use your iron and fuse the two layers of fabric together so that you no longer have that opening on your headband and just go through and give your headband a good steam okay there we have it a simple headband if you have a sewing machine you can put this together in less than half an hour and you can get wear your headband you can tie it to the front and make any design you want to make or you can tie it to the side or you can start at the front and tie it to the back you can also Accent your headband with a bow that I'll show you how to make in part two. So until next time, if you've learned anything from this video and you like it, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you can be notified of my new videos.